Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement browser API commands. These are all the list of most used browser API commands. Now, we will see a sample scenario which covers all these methods. It is always a good practice whenever we start automating the manual test case, we have to do that once manually and confirm whether the end-to-end -end is working fine because sometimes the test case may get blocked in between then it's a waste of time working on those blocked test case so for safer side first do the test case end-to-end -end manually and if it is working fine then you start the automation i cross verified this end-to-end -end step it is working fine so we will directly go into the coding part Pre-request side, we are going to use the Chrome browser and launch the mentioned URL. We will create the Java class. The class name is Browser Commands. The package name Handling Browsers. Public static void main finish. We created the class. Since the pre-request site is, we have to use the Chrome browser. We have to set up the Chrome web driver path. We know how to do this. After this, the first step is we have to launch this particular URL. Usually we used to do driver dot get inside this we will give the URL. This is like hard coding the value. Now we will parameterize it. So we are going to store the URL in the string variable. So the data type is string and the url equal to just mentioned here semicolon now you can pass this url variable inside this get method this is how we have to parameterize since it's mentioned within the double quote it's a string data type that's the reason we used string data type variable name and the url and finally, we parameterized and passed that particular URL inside the get method. After this, either you can maximize after launching this URL or after launching the browser as you wish. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Once we launch the Chrome browser, I am maximizing it. Then launching the URL. The first step is completed and the second step is we have to verify the title of the page and the expected results we have to get demo site title should be displayed. The title of the page is nothing but this one demo site. We have to get the title. How to get the title driver dot get title semicolon. What this exact code will do is it will retrieve this title of this particular url but we have to verify verification means the actual and expected title should be same for that we have to save into a variable it is a string actual title equal to this particular value this is the actual title during runtime we will get a value and it is already given the expected title is demo site so that is also we have to mention it for verification purpose string expected title equal to demo site both the title should be same now i am adding the verification point if actual title dot equals expected title sys out control space so we will get system dot out dot println within this we can pass a message saying that both actual and expected title is same it means it is passed it is always a good practice in case if our script is getting failed we must know what is the reason for that so i am adding the else condition i will say actual and expected titles are not same in addition to that, I want to know both the actual and the expected title in the output. 
so that it will be easy for me to analyze the reports inside this actual title is now i am concordinating with plus symbol i am printing the actual title dynamically it will send the actual title value whatever you are getting here automatically it will come here also same way expected title is this is concordinating plus expected title let's execute and see run as java application application launched maximized navigating to the url i think verification is completed we will see both actual and expected title is same this is a positive scenario now let me show one negative scenario in case we have to get the expected title as demo sites i'm just adding yes so that it will go to the else condition just run as java application application launch loaded execution is completed see here the execution went to the else condition the actual and the expected title are not same the actual title is demo site and the expected title is demo sites since both the values are not same that's why this particular else condition is executed by seeing this output message itself we can come to a conclusion the reason for failure so as a programmer it is always a good practice we have to add the else condition we completed first two step we learned get and get title method next one is get current url for that what i am doing is i am just simply clicking on python notes link after navigating to the python notes web page i have to verify the current url this is the url we have to click free python notes after clicking here we have to verify this url now we have to click on this link either you can give full text if not notes we have already seen this example in partial link text same code i am mentioning it here driver dot find element by dot partial link text inside this notes dot click this code will click on this particular link now i want to verify this url for that we know very well driver dot get current url this will retrieve the current url for verification purpose we have to store it into a variable so string data type it is actual url then copy paste it here in order to verify it we need the expected url will take from the requirement from the test case now both these url should be same can you guess what is the code for that if verification we are adding actual url dot equals expected url then both actual and expected url is same similarly else condition just copy pasting and uh, updating according to our requirement the actual and expected url is not same actual url expected url and make sure whenever you do copy paste you are processing the correct variable now we will execute and see run as java application application is loaded then clicking on python notes link then it verified the current url we will see the log it is not same because we know very well here we made it as a negative scenario let me update it in the next execution we will get both are same then both the actual and expected url is same it means these both two values are same get is used to load a new web page in the current browser window then get title is used to fetch the title of the current page then get current url means fetching the string representing the url which is opened in the browser in the next video we will see rest of the three methods thanks for watching
happy learning